Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Koopa X11 tablet, which normally comes with Windows 7, but this version has been preloaded with Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, it is preview software, so not everything is working perfectly just yet, but overall it's a pretty good experience on a tablet with a 10.1 inch 1366 by 768 pixel display and an Intel Atom Oak Trail processor. And I'll be having, I'll be doing a complete review of this uh, tablet soon, but I wanted to do a quick video overview of the touch-based gestures in Windows 8 and uh, just sort of show you how these work. The, uh, the uh, basic gesture that you're going to be uh, using in most applications, including this Windows 8 start screen, is swipe from the right to bring up the charms bar, and that lets you access the start menu, devices menu, settings menu, sharing menu, and search. Now some of these are going to be different depending on which applications you're using. So for instance from settings we can now access our start settings, but if I was using a different application, say Internet Explorer, when I type settings now we get to access our Windows Explorer settings. Now the other gestures are going to be coming from the left side of the screen. So in both cases you're starting with the bezel and moving your finger. In this case, if you have multiple applications running and we swipe from the left bezel over, we can switch between applications. Now if you want to do two applications on one screen, you do the same motion but not quite as quickly. And what that'll do is open up uh, sort of window snapping here. And so you can see there's a bar here in the middle. We can change how it works, but we've got one window on the left side and one window on the right, a smaller window on the right. We can still do pinch to zoom and all your basic support for, uh, for gestures here, but we're doing it in a smaller window. And then we can also change out which applications we're viewing in the other window. And make that go away. If you want to view a list of all the applications that are currently running, then you move out and back quickly. Let me show you that again. And now we've got thumbnail icons for all the running applications plus quick access to the start menu. So I can go to the Kobo ebook reader. I can go back to Internet Explorer. And I can go to settings. Now there are some actions that are actually designed specifically for Internet Explorer. So for instance, I can pull down from the top of the screen to view currently open tabs. I can do the same thing by pulling up from the bottom of the screen. And from here I can create new tabs and so forth. Or open a new window. From the home screen, I can pinch to view sort of a, a map of all the applications that are available on the home screen. I can swipe up from the bottom or down from the top to bring up a sort of context menu. And right now, I can go to view all the applications that are available on the computer, not just those that are on the home screen. And I can swipe down on any tab here to bring up another menu that says unpin from start, uninstall, or make smaller, or turn off the live tile. So let's make that smaller, make it larger. Uh, in Internet Explorer, there's another item that I forgot to mention, which is uh, instead of swiping from the left or right bezel, you can swipe just on the screen itself. So in addition to doing um, pinch to zoom to make things larger and smaller, you can swipe left and right to basically cycle back and forth through web pages. So this goes through your history and is essentially the touch-based equivalent of a back button or a home button. And that is pretty much it for the gestures that I wanted to show you today. So just to recap, we've got swipe from the right to bring up charms, swipe from the left to switch applications, swipe slowly from the left to do multi-screen applications, swipe and back to bring up a list of currently running applications that you can switch between, 
and in some applications swiping down from the top or up from the bottom will bring up various context menus. For instance, in Internet Explorer, it brings up Okay, well that's being a little funny. It brings up the tab menu and the URL bar. Overall, they're, you know, I don't know that they're necessarily the most intuitive things that you would figure out if you had never used Windows 8 before, but it doesn't take that long to get used to navigating with Windows 8. And it makes the uh, touch-based navigation a little bit easier than it is on Windows 7. Um, now, as you notice, as I'm swiping through here, there's also a desktop view. So if you prefer not to use the touch-based user interface, um, if you're using a keyboard and mouse, or if you just prefer this with a digital pen or even with your finger top, you can use the, um, the default desktop view for things like Windows Explorer or even the full version of uh, Internet Explorer that looks more like the desktop version that you would get with Windows 7. But the start menu replaces the, uh, or the start screen replaces the old-fashioned start menu. So to launch applications, you're always going to need to go to this screen, uh, even if that means sometimes going to the All Apps menu or the search area to find the application that you're looking for. Um, so again, I'll have more on Windows 8 and I'll have more on the Koopa X11 tablet soon, but I wanted to give a quick overview showing touch-based gesture support on a Windows 8 tablet.